y'all. So I'm sitting up here, you know, doing what I do or whatever like that. And at the same time, while I am, you know, doing what I'm doing, I'm watching this video. Now, I have repeated myself damn near 10 times tonight, trying to make a video on my phone right here. But every time I try to make this video, it shuts the fuck off. I wouldn't tell y'all no word of lie. My son, Noah, how many times have I tried to make this video to tell these people about my cups and what the fuck going on? Like 10 times. Like 10 times, y'all. Literally. Damn near 10 times I have been sitting here. I got one up, but it, my phone keeps shutting off. And every time I bring up these motherfucking cups, it shut off. It shuts off. It shuts the fuck off. Now, I'm explaining to y'all what I'm talking about. So, like I said, I've been trying to make... I have made like 10 videos since... Shit, what, what time I started doing this shit? Probably like 6 o'clock. And it's 8 o'clock now, bruh. And every video was like 30 minutes long. So anyways, I'm sitting here, you know, doing this. And at the same time I'm watching this video, it's called Preparing for Narcissistic Storm When You Finally Set Boundaries with Narcissist Expert. Now don't get mad at me if this video sounds something like this video. Because like I said, uh, I'm all over the place because I've been trying to upload this same video for the longest. But the devil is not going to stop me, bro. He's not going to stop me. So... Don't get mad at me if I'm saying the same thing because I need to get this out like a fucking sap, okay? And really, truth be told, the reason why I am being gaslighted so easily because I am a consistent person. I mean what I say and I say what the fuck I motherfucking mean. And I can and I can repeat what the fuck I said if I said it. I could say it again. I ain't never been no motherfucking coward, never been no motherfucking pussy and never never been scared to say and never been the type of person to bite my motherfucking tongue. So you may have heard me say this in a, in another motherfucking video, but it's cool. So listen, I'm sitting up here watching this video at the same time. And um, the man was talking about the different stages of dealing with a narcissist. And he was like, stage three is the setting boundary stage. So I was congratulating myself or whatever, checking myself. You know, I've been up on my narcissistic, watching my narcissist videos so I can see you know, where I'm at, you know, so, um, I've noticed this woman next door, she act just like the woman in Alabama, I tell y'all, no word or lie, she, she is, they might as well be twin fucking flames, because she is the woman in Alabama, and that Haitian man is the woman in Alabama boyfriend, husband, whoever the hell he was to her, so they might as well just get together. I don't know why he with the Haitian lady. He might as well get together with her and do some things. Okay? Because they act, they act just alike. And I notice the patterns. I've been paying attention to the patterns a lot. And I notice every time I, I'm encouraging myself, checking myself, or just resembling confidence and self-love. That's who I am, baby. That's who I am. The fuck? And nobody will take that from away from me. You fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Nobody will take that from me at all. Over my dead body, bitch. Really, I'm ready to die for me, bitch. And I ain't scared because I'm ready to go so I can come back and hunt all of you motherfuckers. Because one thing about it, energy can never be destroyed or created. Period. So it, 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 is, it is what it is at the end of the day. But she always beating on the walls or slamming doors and all this stuff every time i go to showing myself self-love every that's how i know i be speaking that real shit because every time i speak real shit she get offended by it she get in a hit dog will holler okay 
So that's why I told y'all, y'all have to say what you don't like and make it you do like it. And say what you do like and say you don't like it. Okay? And I kind of ethically set that up for myself so that I can grow. Because I know that they are here to destroy me. Okay? And I can say it because they don't know what it is. They'll just keep doing what they're doing or whatever, whatever. It doesn't matter at this point. So, um, yeah, like, bitch, I would have beaten back on the wall because what you're not going to do, you're not going to control my life. You're not going to control me loving myself. That's what you're not going to control. You may can control yourself and gaslight and do all that. You can do whatever you want. I, I ain't got nothing to do with that. You can call me stupid. You can call me whatever you want to call me at the end of the day. Because at the end of the day, I know you and I know me. So I'm going to win. I already know. That's... Excuse me. I'm sorry. I already know that I am going to win. Like, Period. Okay, and so if you ever want to defeat the narcissist, defeating the narcissist is loving yourself. That's it. All you got to do is love yourself because they don't love themselves. So the more you love yourself, the more hurt, you, the more you cause a, 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 a injury on them. You really don't even have to do anything to cause an in, a, 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 a injury with them. Because they don't, they don't know themselves. They, they lack that. They don't have that at all. So the way I see it, you damned if you do and you damned if you don't. So I'll be damned if I don't. I'll be damned if I don't love myself. I'll be damned if I don't make these motherfucking videos exposing these motherfuckers. I don't give a fuck. That's you. That's your problem. But what you're not going to do... Is beat on the wall when I love myself. That's what you're not going to fucking do. Now, I have put up with this bitch beating on the wall since I've been in my room. She been keeping me up and waking me up. And still, I get up and I make my music videos because guess what? The more you keep me up, the more I plan. I'm, I'm sitting here literally thinking of videos to make for y'all. Why, why everybody else sleep? I'm up making, making, thinking of ways of making money, baby. So if this is where I need to be, guess what? This is where I need to be. And then when you wake me up in the morning, guess what? I'm just going to get my ass up, go brush my teeth, wash my face, take me a bath, and get, get to it. Get to working on videos. Simple as that. I'm not going to get mad at you because you want to beat on the wall. If you feel like you need to beat on the wall to make yourself feel better, beat on the motherfucking wall then. Go ahead and beat, beat on the wall. And it still ain't going to make you feel better. So what? Why? That's insane. Okay? That's insane. But what you're not going to do, you're not going to control my household, bitch. There is a line, and you're going to stay your ass right over that motherfucking line unless you want to get dealt with, period. Because I'm ready to defend myself against anybody that I feel like is a threat to Ronika Williams. It's like the fucking Twilight Zone all over again. I'm dealing with the same people all over again. That's why I told my son last night when we was watching 42. It, 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 ain't no, it ain't no flesh. You don't, you're not wrestling against flesh and blood. You're wrestling with a spirit. And there's only two spirits. Only two. There's a negative and a positive. That's it. And we all got both of those inside our body. But the one that you exercise the most is the one that you are. And that's a demon over there. There's so many uh, negative energy up in this apartment. I got to get me some sage to clean it out. Literally. 
And I feel like every apartment I moved to, and that's why I say this was, I was strategically put here in this spot. This was strategized. Come on now. Everybody on this motherfucking row is miserable as hell. And I'm just stuck right in the middle of it. But this is why God love always conquers hate. Don't get that shit twisted. Don't let these motherfucking demon seeds Spawns of Satan make you believe that evil conquers good. That will never happen. As long as I got breath in my body, it will never happen. Even after I don't have no more breath in my body, it will never happen. Because good always conquers bad. Always. always and i'm not i'm not saying i'm perfect i'm not saying i'm better than nobody but i know nobody ain't better than me and ain't nobody finna mistreat me and make me feel like that oh i'm mean or i have an attitude or or whatever nobody's not finna do do that to me no because i know i don't now and that's what i was saying it took me to not love myself to love myself because what I thought I was loving myself was not was 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 me being mean because of the manipulators and the rapists and the child molesters and the pathological liars was making me believe that I was mean and and, and I had an attitude because they couldn't get what they wanted out of me. Manipulated me and made me change my whole person, my whole persona. Now I'm letting people walk over me. I'm biting my tongue. I'm trying to please people, running, running behind people who reject me and abandon me. But like I said, if they had a known that rejected me, because you know a narcissist, they gonna reject you and abandon you, expecting for you to come back. That's 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 their mentality. See the things that you want, they take from you. And the things that you don't want, they give to you. So if you love them, they're going to make you run behind them. But if they had a known that that shit wasn't going to work on me, they would have never did it. They would have continued to love me. Love, love bomb me. That's what they would have continued to do. Because the moment I saw they was rejecting me and abandoning me, it took me three years to come to my senses. Mind you, I was being abandoned, gaslighted from 09 up until 2018. And I still was being manipulated and gaslighted by Danny. And I knew Danny didn't love me. I know he didn't. But I wanted him to. I wanted him to because that's what a dad does. I wanted him to love me. I didn't want him to be like Etna. I spoke highly of him. I wanted him to love me. But I couldn't make him love me. And once I let his ass go, I have been doing good ever since. I may be broke as hell still. I may be don't have no food. But guess what? I'm here. I ain't scratched out about nothing. My hair growing back, my nails growing, my skin looking beautiful. I'm good. I don't need you. If you don't need me, I don't need you. And even when you do decide to need me, I still won't need you. Because now I know I can't trust you. I can't trust you. I went to Danny with my dreams, bro. Do you know how hard it is to go to a person with, with your dreams? Something that you dream about? Literally sung for him and asked him how I sound. He told me to ask Noah. Like, what the fuck you mean, ask Noah? Like, that was an insult. Noah's a child. 
But it's cool, bro. It's cool. All that is fine with me. Because that right there just made me see the strength that I didn't know I had. So like I said, I I think I think I think the narcissist. I, I'm thankful for all the shit that I'm going through right now. I'm thankful for all the people who abandoned me and rejected me. Because I would still be right there kissing their ass if they hadn't did that. I wouldn't be making videos. I wouldn't be believing in myself. I wouldn't be loving myself. I'll be still right there. Crutched. Stuck. Broken. And to think, I tried to get these people back when they abandoned me and rejected me. I had to prove that I wasn't... I, tr I, I, had, I, I tried to prove that I wasn't who they said I was just so they could love me. Literally. I literally owe myself the biggest apology, bro. The biggest fucking apology. I didn't deserve that shit. I'm not mean. I don't have an attitude. What you see is what you get. Come correct or don't come at all. Real talk. Real talk. Motherfucker always talking about this woman got an attitude, this woman this, this woman that. But see, if she was hoeing around, then what y'all would say? She don't have no attitude. She got boundaries. Then when she don't have those boundaries, y'all call her a hoe. So, do you is what I'm saying. Because you damned if you do and you damned if you don't. Motherfucker always got something to say, bruh. Always. So, do what make you happy. And I would never be doing what make me happy if I would not be going through the things that I'm going through. Or I would not have went through the things that I have went through. Self-love. Love yourself. Because if you don't love yourself, nobody will. Nobody will love you like you. That's why I teach my son to love himself. Don't give a fuck about none of these kids. I don't even want you playing with these kids, for real. I want me some hot wings, though, y'all. I want me some hot wings. I deserve some motherfucking hot wings. Period. I deserve hot wings. Real talk. But yeah, I try to teach my son to love himself. For real. Because if you don't if you don't love you, nobody else is gonna love you, bruh. And motherfuckers always talking about how somebody else gonna love you if you don't love yourself. Bruh, you just you just um discredit God, bro. You just said God ain't good. You just said God ain't good because God is love. God is love. And love conquers all. So even if you don't love yourself, guess what? God loves you. Even when you don't love yourself. People supposed to love you. People who believe in God, people who got God in them is supposed to love you. Even when you don't love yourself. So don't give me that victim blaming ass shit, bro. Because that's just an excuse to justify you mistreating this person. You ain't shit for that, bro. How in the hell is this girl fault for loving your ass when you ain't appreciate her? You didn't. You mistreated her. You manipulated her. You raped her. But it's her fault because she ain't love herself. No, bitch, it's your fault because you shouldn't have never extorted her. If you see that she didn't love herself, then you should have taught her how to love herself. The fuck wrong with you? That's not God. That's not God. God is love. And if you know God, if you run across a person who don't love themselves, you will love them until they're capable of loving themselves. That's love. Love is sacrifice. And none of you motherfuckers out there can sacrifice. 
None of you motherfuckers. That's why I see all you motherfuckers the same. Whether you're a pathological liar or a rapist, bitch, you the same. In my eyes. Tell my she don't love herself. But I had to not love myself to love myself. I had to be broken to understand the reasons on why I did what I did. Because I let people put it in my head for too long that I was mean and I had an attitude and it was my fault. But when I saw that even when I was not mean and did not have an attitude, was kind and generous, you motherfuckers still fucked over me, even my sister and even Danny. That's when I knew that I'm not the one with the problem. You are the one with the problem. And just like these motherfucking neighbors around here doing all this shit and blaming it on me, I'm not the motherfucking problem. You the motherfucking problem, so get your shit together, bitch. And if you wouldn't sit over there all day with your motherfucking TV off listening to everything I say, then you wouldn't have a narcissistic injury, now would you? Because half of the time, I don't even be talking to these motherfuckers. I be talking to myself. I be encouraging myself. You understand? And even that give them motherfuckers a narcissistic injury. So, I'm damn if I do, I'm damn if I don't. I be damn if I don't. Bitch, fuck you. It ain't about you, it's about me. It's about me loving me. And I'm going to love me. So, self-love deficiencies... When, as soon as I told you motherfuckers no, y'all had a problem with me. But guess what? That's my new word, no. And I don't give a fuck how you feel about that shit. Love yourself. To everybody who fuck with me out there. And this video kept shutting off so many times, I wish I could go live. Y'all get me up to a thousand so I can start going live. Because y'all know I ain't got no computer. But I, I want to go live because I want to see the people who fuck with me. I want to see how it feel. Get me to a thousand motherfucking subscribers so that I can go motherfucking live. Because this was a live motherfucking video, bitch. And then motherfuckers could not shut my video off, bruh. I'm telling y'all, I made this video damn near five fucking times. More than five times. Probably like eight times. And this shit kept fucking cutting off, bruh. And it, it ain't even in my, um, my fucking camera, bitch. It ain't even there. It, it kept saying, this asset is not readable. That's how I know my motherfucking phone is tapped. That's how I know. Like, real talk. But love yourself and don't give a fuck about what people say. They don't love themselves, so they know, you know they can't love you. And that's what that saying need to be. If you don't love yourself, you can't love nobody else. Don't say that if you don't love yourself, nobody else can love you. Y'all got that shit wrong. When you don't love yourself, you can't love nobody else. Because hurt people hurt people. But if you don't love yourself, somebody else can love you, baby. Somebody else who have the spirit of God in them, they will love you. Don't listen to that toxic, that toxic ass shit. Them motherfuckers don't love themselves. That's why they can't love you. Period. Now, I was finna give y'all a whole video of this. But it turned into a whole nother thing. Which is a blessing. Because now I can make a whole nother video for this. But I just want to show y'all my cups. That these motherfuckers done stole out my house. Last week. They stole my cups. So I... I don't put nothing past they ass. I already know if a motherfucker come in here talking to me like they my friend and then turn my motherfucking timer off on my stove. Bitch, it's the principle. Y'all may say it's pet. It's the principle. Let you know. So show them my cups and my bowls. So I got these cups and bowls. I had these cups and bowls since 2015 when I moved into my, my second apartment. And I had four cups because I got them from Dollar General. They be taped together. Four of them be taped together. And I don't remember how many bowls I have, but I got two bowls left. But I know I had four cups. Yes. You understand? And now I just got three cups. Yes. One, two. Look at my baby using this time instead. Three. Three cups. Not four. 
not four. And they, and they stole my measuring spoon because remember I said that when I make my ginger, I put too much in there. So I use my little measuring spoon so I won't put too much in there. Don't even know what a measuring spoon meant now. Yeah. Everything gone. Yeah. So I already know that I believe in your, in, in your abilities to be, uh, to do some fucked up ass shit. Yeah. You may not believe that shit, yeah. but I believe that. So what make you think I'm going to believe that mm. I just lost a cup like that? Who the fuck lose cups? Come on, bro. My whole cup gone. I don't go outside with my cups. I stay in my house with my cups because I don't want my cups smelling like hot dogs anyway. Then I know if a motherfucker put gum under my counter, what a bitch is capable of. Yeah. They give no fucks at all. Then the guy came right in here, talked to me when he fixed the thing in my bathroom, having a whole conversation about the election, all the while manipulating me and turned my damn timer off on my motherfucking stove. Didn't want to play like you innocent. Bitch, get out my motherfucking face. Stop playing with me. But y'all, I know I'm on my healthy food journey. If y'all ain't know, I had um, Papa John's the other night anyways. Um... I burnt my chicken. I was saying that in my other video that uh, if I'm supposed to be here, I'm going to be here. Like I said, uh, people in Alabama are fucked up. Dope in Alabama, they some fucked up ass people. I've never been to Birmingham, Montgomery. I'm not that type of person to shit on places I've never been. I've never been there. I can't give my opinion on there, but I can give my opinion on Dope in Alabama and Headland, Alabama and you some fucked up ass people there. But I'm thankful because it humbled me. You understand? I'm thankful for this because it, it strengthened me. Just like I said, I'm thankful for the abandonment and all that shit. When motherfuckers did the shit to kill me, God did that shit to heal me, motherfucker. Like, period. So, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful. I'm humbled. You know, I don't feel like I'm better than nobody. And I know nobody is better than me. So, hey, you just got to... You got to love yourself. You got to love yourself. Oh, that's what I was saying. If, if if God have me here, then I know what, I know that I'm supposed to be here. You understand what I'm saying? Just like the other night when I had my hot wings, I think I ate six, seven, eight, nine, Noah ate three, Noah ate four. And I had a couple of left. It was, I think it was like a, a 16 piece or something like that, a 20 piece or something like that. And I was drunk as shit because I brought me some wine. This was Friday. And it was a single mother's Friday night. And um, I was drunk as shit. Came and laid in my bed, put my hot, put the rest of my wings in the um oven, and burnt the shit out them bitches. When I got them out, I, I got up about five o'clock in the morning. They were still cooking. You understand? They, they smelled was, horrible. They smelled so horrible. They was black as shit when I got them. Yeah. I was like, hey, it wasn't meant for me to have them. You see what I'm saying? So, you got to understand when God has things for you and when something is not for you, it's just not for you. Okay? And when I was loving myself, when I said that I was acting like Elton, I wasn't acting like Elton at all. Because if I was acting like Elton, I would have been drinking. I was never drinking. Trust me, if I was acting like Elton, she would have never rolled past me that day when she seen me on the side of the street but she did because that it's just something in me that irritate these devils like i irritate these motherfucking devils and i know it and i'm not trying to irritate nobody intentionally i'm not i'm just being myself if myself not good enough then bitch move leave the fuck i'm not asking you to be around me bitch because i know how to live by myself i don't want nobody who don't want me and that's just real talk i will get up and I would excuse myself. And that's just real. No, I was loving myself. I wasn't mean. People used to say, oh, you mean. You got I, I, I wasn't any of those things. I just knew my worth. I just had my boundaries. And went for to let nobody molest me, rape me, or none of that shit ever again, bro. At all. But a motherfucker manipulated me into believing this shit. And I went to changing. I went to change it. I used I was biting my tongue. I was doing all this for about three years. Was scared to be myself, bruh. 
You know how uncomfortable that is to not want to be yourself? To not love yourself? I don't never want to feel that shit again. I'll never feel that shit again. And they say never say never, but I'll never be that shit again. I'll never feel that shit again. Because at the end of the day, bitch, fuck you. At the end of the day, I haven't done anything to nobody. So I had to lose myself to understand the reasons on why I got an attitude. To understand the reasons on why I was mean. I was mean because I was supposed to be mean to you motherfuckers. You weren't being nice to me. You was just trying to use me. Period. I ain't no motherfucking nice guy. I ain't no motherfucking pushover. You got the game fucked up if you think that. I'm just going to sit there and let you treat me any kind of way. Hell no. You going to know how to treat me. The fuck? Even if you don't like me, bitch, you will respect me. The fuck wrong with you? So this video is called Self-Love Deficiency. We probably all have been there, you know? I just don't give a fuck about talking about it. I have been dumb. I have been stupid. I have stayed in relationships where I should have been left. Been left. But I didn't love myself at all. I had one guy. I was literally, I had a miscarriage. Literally. Sick. On the toilet. Red everywhere. Just red. Everywhere. And I couldn't I couldn't please him at the time. But that's what he wanted. And instead of him, you know, being understanding. Uh, first of all, come check on me. I'm sick as fuck. Didn't do that. Didn't even have the understanding to come up to, to say, okay, well, she's sick. And then Jack, Jack, jacked off with the door open and my son in the room. And I still stayed because I did not love myself. Then when I look back on that shit, bro, I, I literally have to forgive myself. You understand? Because I was mad at myself. You know, it's, it's different phases you go through. When, you, when you've been in a abusive relationship. You see what I'm saying? And after that, you, you blame yourself. Like, what, what you blame yourself because they blamed you for it. Then you get mad at yourself and blame yourself some more. And then finally you get in that stage and you like, look, I didn't tell him to do that shit. I couldn't help me being sick. It ain't like I planned the shit. Like, all this shit is orchestrated around this motherfucker. And they get mad at me. Like, I planned it. <laughs> Bitch, you planned it. Not me. You get mad at yourself. The fuck? I ain't tell you to manipulate me, bro. I ain't tell you to gaslight me, bro. And I'm not gonna take the blame for that. I'm gonna put the blame where the blames belong. And that's on you crazy motherfuckers. That's your problem, not mine. I ain't taking that. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Nah, I ain't taking that shit. You got me fucked up if you think I am. So, don't be embarrassed because of the shit that you may have went through, the shit you may have did. Because nobody know your story. Nobody know why you did the things that you do. And half the time, motherfuckers sit there and talk about you because they don't have the balls to say what you say. You real. They fake as fuck. That's why they sit there and gossip about you. And don't ever... People used to try to make it seem like that I was gossiping because I would say shit like, well, Etna, she, she loved Drink of Them more than me, but now that she's sick, Drink of Them don't give a fuck about her and she gonna need me. That's not gossiping, but that's how Londa made that shit. You see what I'm saying? Because a lot of people out here... They got two faces. They got two, especially them covert narcissists. That's why every video that I have watched on this shit has said, has named the covert narcissist as the most dangerous person, as the most da dangerous narcissist of them all. Because they have two faces. They make people believe that this is who they is, but this is really who they is. And Lunda is the prime example. Hell, Drinker is that way. Hell, Elton is that way. Hell, I, I'm, Georgina is that way. Hell, 
I won't say Nuke is that way. I could say that she literally, I felt like she was real. But she going to have to learn like I learned. You see what I'm saying? And I can't help her learn that. Especially since she put that no good ass nigga over me. Bitch, he got two, he two faced too. He got two faces. Look at the shit, bro. The same nigga that tried to fuck your cousin. Me. The same nigga I came back and told you he tried to fuck me. I told her this shit. But she still blamed me for it. Because it's easy. It's easy to blame me. You see what I'm saying? Like, people with two faces, they are good at what they do. They are very good at being manipulative. They, they've been doing this shit they, their whole lives, bro. Their whole lives. I don't put shit past them. I could never be that way. I had people in my little group that I used to hang with was this way. A couple of them. And I could never. I, I just knew to stay away from these motherfuckers. I always had a good eye to see a flaw style ass motherfucker. And you flaw. Like they used to say back in the day. You flaw. You fake as hell. Period. Nothing you do. Nothing you say. Nothing you have can ever make me want to be you. I would never want to be you. And I could say never. Because you fake. You fake as fuck. You're conniving. You manipulative. You triangulate. I could never be that. So good luck. Kudos to you. Congratulations on whatever it is that you get at the end of the day. Because I still haven't figured that part out. What the fuck do you earn by being manipulative? Conniving. What the, eventually you're going to get found out because what's done in the dark comes to light. Period. And I know I say a lot of those little quotes and shit because that's what I live on. I live on quotes. I live on affirmations. I live on shit like that. I don't listen to these motherfuckers. Especially if they ain't telling me nothing good. Now, it's, it's one thing to... to Give constructive criticism, but bitch, you just hating. You just hating. But don't ever say that nobody can love you if you don't love yourself. Because when you say that shit, you discredit God. God is love. And love always conquers evil. Second of all, you blaming the victim, bro. How you gonna blame her for loving now, if she would have been hating, you would have been blaming her for hating. So, you better be happy she's loving and not running around this bitch killing you motherfuckers. Stop blaming the victim. Stop extorting the victim. And become her hero.